Hello everyone. This lecture gives you knowledge about cyclometric complexity. It is a software metric tool or a software metric co complexity calculator. It indicates the complexity of a program. Uh, in other ways, it is a quantitative measure of number of linearly independent paths which we find in a program source code. So we simply form a control flow graph of the program to calculate a cyclometric complexity, to manually calculate it. There are other software tools like the for Python it is Radon. For other languages there are other tools like J for Java I think it's iJava or something like that. I don't know, I don't remember. But for Python I have used Radon Radon. So this lecture will tell you about how to manually calculate cyclometric complexity in a source code. So let's consider a source code. Okay, just consider this source code over here. It is a simple program of swapping two numbers in an array. So the program looks like this and we have to calculate the cyclometric complexity manually. So the first step is to form a control flow graph of this. The over here and we'll simply traverse it according to the statements. Okay, so the first statement states that i is equal to 0 and the other is so it will simply traverse to 2 okay okay so then here comes a while statement so it can either go into the while statement if i is less than n minus 1 or it cannot if it satisfies the condition then it will go to 3 you can see that it is going to 3 if i is less than n minus 1 but if it is not less than n minus 1 then we'll send it directly to um, 14 because here at 13 the while loop is ending so it will go directly to 14 okay if i is not equal to n minus 1 I'll simply write so okay let's continue after 3 the third statement is a bracket it will definitely go to 4 after 4 it is uh, initialization of j j is equal to i plus 1 it will definitely go to the next statement so okay so the next statement is a while loop okay the while loop says that j is less than n so it may or may not occur if j is less than n, it will go to the sixth statement if j is less than n. But if it is not, then it will go to where it will go to eleven. No. Six j is less than n. Then it will go to twelve. Directly to i is equal to i plus one. So it will go to twelve. If j is not equal to n or not, not less than n so after six statement it is definitely go to the other seven statement because it is a bracket seven statement is an if statement it is telling if a array of i is less than array of j so a of i is less than a of j if it is true then we'll go to 8 if true and if it is false then it will go to 11 if false from 8th statement after bracket it will definitely go to the 9th statement 9th statement is swap statement it is a method method has been called so 
the next statement will execute as it is after 10th there is an 11th statement okay it will also go over there after 11 it won't go to 12th because we have already did the traverse from 5th to 12th now the bracket won't go okay the 12th is also done so after 12th it will go to 13 for sure and it is done remember that whenever a bracket of while ends we don't traverse it to the next here I haven't traversed it similarly I, here also I haven't traversed it just remember this thing okay so now what will we do the main thing is we now will calculate the number of nodes and the number of edges so the number of nodes are 14 we have numbered it there are 14 in total so the number of edges will calculate one thing I have missed I didn't send 13 back to 2 that was my mistake uh, and also I haven't sent 13 back to 2 and 11 back to 5 so in total we get if we calculate we get number of edges as 16 number of edges as 16 so now how we calculate what is the formula for calculating the cyclometric complexity so the formula cyclometric complexity c is equal to number of edges mod minus number of nodes plus 2 to the power of number of connected components here the connected component is 1 so 2 to the power 1 number of edges is 16 number of nodes is 14 2 to the power 1 c is equal to 16 minus 14 plus 2 that is 4 so this is our cyclometric so this is a bit long method right what else can we do in exam we won't have time to calculate this much so in exam we'll simply count the number of what are the branch points over here one is this a while loop where there is a contradiction where there is a true or false condition that it can be true or it can be false so this one is a branch point this one is a branch point and this one is a branch point so there are three total branch points in our code okay so in an exam you just have to calculate the number of branch points plus one and this will give you the cyclometric complexity easy yeah that's all yeah that's all for today thank you very much